Welcome back to 21 Minute Reads with me, Maya D. This is kind of like my virtual book club because in these five minute or so videos, I share with you my takeaways from my current reading. Right now, that is Hot Feet and Social Change. As a part of the Read 21 and 21 Challenge, I'm reading 21 minutes per day every day as an action of self-love, an investment into myself, and as a way of providing myself with some consistency in an ever-changing world. I hope that you will join me along in this journey by liking this video, subscribing to the channel, dropping some comments down there, having in mind that wow, I do have more than two decades of experience as both an educator and a performer and studier, uh, a researcher, if you may. I am not the know-all be-all for this book. I'm simply creating a space for dialogue. Well, this week I read pages 130 through 159 and here are my takeaways. Takeaway number one, atmospheric changes. The quote reads, the women are extremely talented and when they come together to perform, their energy is so powerful that they cause changes in the atmosphere. This quote is from Osada Amor Amenkum, and it's from the process section where they speak of how their company works with people in prison or the prison population via a group called the Drama Club. Movement and music has long since been used as a modality for diagnosing and treating illnesses, stresses, or just helping people to navigate experiences. Drama Club's ability to enlighten individuals and change the atmosphere is just yet another example of that. And it goes past the time of incarceration via a group called The Graduates. Well, everyone wants to be thought of, seen, and heard. That energy is what keeps the soul present. Some of you might know of this or uh, have heard of this in your ancestors' reverence what should we call them, rituals, practices, things like that. But it's mentioned in this work that this experience helps those incarcerated feel remembered, feel considered, feel a part of the community and society. Takeaway number two, Dr. Joff. Okay, so... Baba Zach has his PhD in biochemistry from the University of Chicago. While I'm not surprised, I just didn't know. I previously mentioned that multiple of my artist friends have advanced degrees. And I often say this is due to the high standards that our mamas and our babas, our elders, the adult community around us set for us. They were examples of the end. They were spectacular artists and extraordinary at other things. They had knowledge of Eastern practices and were able to easily translate it into Western modalities. So this is a concept that I like to, or I want to convey to my students. You can be great at this and this, because you can just be great. Takeaway number three, don't touch the Alice. So this was one of the last statements made to then mayor uh, Jerry Brown by Malonga Cascolor before his death. And it's in reference to the city wanting to build a school for the arts in the community. And in doing so, they were failing to acknowledge the impact of the Alice Community Center for the Arts that was already there. At the same time, this is an example of the changing of the guards and how various leaders who have various values and things that they find important. So it's sometimes up to the community that they serve to remind them that good leaders are the personification of the group, the community, the society's values, and their job is to protect it. Well. My goal is to protect these kinds of American dance histories. And I want you to check in those details down there. Click that link. If you would like to learn some more about West African dance forms, stay blessed, spread a good word, and I'll see you again next week.